Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Now in the state of Idaho where I live, as with many states across the United States of America, uh, they have manuals and laws about stopping and stop signs. And if you read in the most current uh, driver's manual, everybody has to take a test, pass the test to get a driver's license. Uh, the first traffic sign they talk about is the almighty stop sign. It says, first sentence, stop sign. You must come to a complete stop before entering the intersection ahead. It doesn't say to look if there's no traffic that you can just roll on through it uh, or not come to a complete stop. So my question is, how many people actually stop? Well, I decided to go ahead and test this myself at a uh, four-way stop intersection in my hometown just yesterday. And I recorded enough video to get at least 100 cars, and that was my objective here. And I went in and labeled all the cars uh, as a fail if they don't come to a complete stop. Not a rolling stop, not you know anything like that. They're getting a fail. So, so far we've had about seven fails. There's number eight. This guy passed here, uh, right there that I labeled. That guy's a fail, didn't come to a complete stop. That was a rolling stop. And this guy passed here, the uh, sh blue Chevy truck. But you can see how many of these uh, cars and trucks are failing to come to a complete stop. And I'm labeling uh, each of them as a fail. And a lot of them, if they, you know, if they're a major fail, like it doesn't even look like they attempted to slow down, uh, you know, they just kind of cut right through. Uh, I kind of increase the size of the letters in the word fail. But. Yeah, it's unbelievable when you actually stop and watch people drive. How many people completely ignore a stop sign? And the funny thing is, is, you know, very few of these cars are actually coming to a complete stop at stop signs. And I guarantee you, no matter what intersection I went to around my hometown, it would be the same. I mean, I've you know, uh, drove for many, many years, and I've noticed this, uh, that very few people actually come to a complete stop. Most people act like they are in such a hurry to get wherever it is that they're going that they don't have two, three, or four seconds to come to a complete stop. It baffles me, and I'll admit, I mean, I've noticed myself, you know, sometimes only coming to a rolling stop, and it's an easy habit to get into. But the thing that gets me is, I guarantee you, out of all these cars here that are failing to come to a complete stop, if I was a cop and watching these guys and I decided to pull any of these guys over that's not coming to a complete stop and give them a ticket or a citation for failing to obey the legal stop sign right there in front of them, how many people do you think would be extremely upset with a cop uh, for giving them a ticket or a citation for failing to come to a complete stop? I bet you almost everybody would be extremely angry calling the cop names and everything else uh, for giving them a ticket for failing to come to a complete stop. Or they would simply, maybe they would believe, I did come to a stop. You're a freaking liar. I want to see video of it. Well, right here should be video enough to make you stop and wonder, hey, do I come to a complete stop at stop signs? Next time you're on the road, you know, go ahead and watch yourself and you'd probably be surprised that, you know, how easy it is to not come to a complete stop at the stop signs as you drive home or you drive to the grocery store or whatever it is. But I mean, here we are, fail, fail, fail. Most of these cars aren't even, you know, trying to come to a stop. It's like you're just slowing down a little bit to make sure another car is not coming. And if another car is not coming, you know, go for it. Uh, even though the law is that when you see a stop sign, you are required to come to a complete stop. Now, I got to say that I just stopped and recorded some uh, video with my, you know, camera mounted inside my car uh, yesterday evening just to see how many people come to a complete stop at, you know, this given intersection. But it wasn't like I picked out some special intersection where, you know, people are not obeying the stop signs or that I kept recording videos until I got one that, 
you know, showed what I was trying to prove. No, I only recorded this one video this one time, and this is what you got. Uh, and it's not surprising to me because I've kind of noticed it uh, just driving around. But I, I'm not really trying to prove anything or anything like that. I'm really just trying to show a video that I think may surprise people as, you know, how often and how many people uh, out of a given number uh, do not come to a complete stop. Do not follow the most basic of, you know, uh, driving laws uh, that they're required to know to get their driver's license here in America or here in the state of Idaho where I live. So, you know, it, 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 it's kind of funny to me. And then another, there's other things that aggravate the heck out of me more than people not coming to a complete stop. I mean, people that follow too close, for example, uh, people that don't merge, you know, when you're getting on the freeway and a million other things, uh, can really be more annoying to me than this, but you know, this is, I'm sure a big reason for accidents. People, uh, I think the biggest reason for accidents is probably people not paying attention, uh, you know, inattentive driving, maybe, you know, trying to talk on their phone or text or just not paying attention to what they're doing while they're driving is probably the number one reason for Rex. But you could put this right in there, I'm sure. People failing to observe something as blatant and simple as a stop sign. Uh, you know, stop signs are put there for a reason uh, to prevent accidents. And when you have this many people failing to observe, uh, you know, a stop sign, then you know, that you have your answer for why insurance rates for, you know, driving are so expensive on vehicles. Uh, people complain about how high insurance rates are. Well, right here is a good reason for why my insurance and your insurance rates for your vehicle are so expensive nowadays. So one thing I've noticed just watching this video and going back and editing and putting the passes and fails on all the cars, you know, and fails on all the vehicles that aren't coming to a complete stop. One thing I've really noticed is, you know, there are a few people that are passing the complete stop test, but for the most part, it seems like that really only happens when there are like, you know, two, three or four cars all coming to a stop near the same time and all of them can't go. You know, all of them can't just come to a rolling stop and go through or there's going to be a wreck. So fortunately, there are some people out there that will, uh, you know, be observant enough uh, to stop and let the other guys break the law. So that really seems like, I mean, when cars come up just like that van there and they're the only ones there uh, or somebody's not turning in front of them, it seems like they get a fail almost every single time. And uh, right now you see nobody coming up to the stop sign. If somebody was there right now, they'd probably fail. But anyway, I've uh, checked the last 113 cars. And out of those cars, if you count them up, 97 people have failed and only 16 people have passed the coming to a complete stop at the stop sign uh, law. And that equals a 86% fail rate uh, in this just random sample video in my hometown here in Idaho. And again, I believe that fail rate would be a lot higher, except that I was recording this right around, you know, 5.30ish, 6 p.m. on a weekday. A lot of people coming home, a lot of traffic, and there's a lot of people coming to a stop at the same time. Uh, if I had recorded this earlier in the day when maybe so many people weren't coming to the intersection at the same time, I bet you the fail rate would be a lot higher. And again, I go back to the fact that most of the people that are coming to a complete stop are really only coming to a complete stop because not everybody can go. Somebody has to stop to prevent a wreck. So, yeah, it's. It, I think it would be high in the high 90s if we just had cars just coming to a stop. Like if it was just a single stop sign, you know, here and, uh, you know, no other cars uh, to watch out for. So it's pretty sad, uh, you know, that so many people can't even observe a simple stop sign but at the same time these same people can get agitated and irritated with law enforcers for giving them a ticket for failing to obey the law or you know that most of these people probably the uh, biggest failures here that aren't even trying to come to a complete stop not even looking to give somebody else you know their turn that's already been stopped 
uh, or that arrived at the four-way intersection before them, you know a lot of these people are the uh, biggest complainers of high auto insurance rates that they pay. That's just the way it seems like it, it goes. And I want to go ahead and ask you guys what you think. Be sure you put it down in the comments below. This has been Zaxter99. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.